It's interesting because on the national security front as well, the president dealing with the resist movement, dealing with people like John Brennan, the former CIA director under Barack Obama. That's normally a position that when you retire, when you step down, it's nonpartisan. You're not sitting around nitpicking everything that the next president from the opposite party is doing, number one. And number two, you certainly don't accuse that new president of treason, which is what John Brennan did. He tried sort of to walk it back recently, but last night went on Bill Maher and doubled down. I'm worried because now we are in a crisis. There needs to be some reckoning in the Republican Party that we can't allow this to go on. He's dividing Americans. And so I'm really concerned that as he continues to play to his base, he's further dividing us. And I'm really concerned about whether this could spill over into the streets. They need to act before there's a real disaster. So Brennan, as you said, doubling down and all of us wondering why would he do that? He just had a security clearance removed. He says he wants it back. Why is he doubling down? Well, Dan Bongino thinks that maybe Brennan has something to hide. Spill into the streets? Are you serious? This is a constitutional republic, okay? We do our damage in the voting booth. We don't spill it into the streets and start attacking our neighbors. This is not a violent country. We're talking about the same guy who was the puppet master for this entire spying scandal on the Trump team. He exchanged information with foreign intelligence and then briefed Capitol Hill on some of that information, incentivizing the FBI to go after the Trump team. This guy's the worst of the worst. Dan's right. He's he's knee deep in this uh, Russia hoax. He is, and you know what's it was unprecedented for a president to yank a former CIA director's clearance, which yeah. is lifetime. However, this is truly unprecedented. You know, President Trump is accused of, of waging a war against the intelligence community. Well, guys like John Brennan, mm -hmm. with comments like that, doubling down, pushing it further, particularly with the comments of, you know, what's going to break out in the streets, is doing no help to that argument. Especially when you have others in the intelligence community, like James Clapper, who used to be the director of national intelligence, no fan of President Trump. He's been a fierce critic. But in Said he stood up recently and said, you know what, I'm not a huge fan of the president, but John Brennan's going a little far. He should not have accused the commander in chief of treason. And you remember Rachel Maddow pressed uh, Brennan about that a week or so ago, and he started saying, well, I didn't really accuse him of treason. Now he's back to saying, yeah, treason, uh, because he's probably getting pressure from the left. And that gets back to the idea former CIA directors are supposed to be nonpartisan. They're right. not supposed to be listening to the extreme left or the extreme right, and they're certainly not. Uh, expected to be or supposed to be leading the resist movement against the commander in chief. That's right. And when people hear that, they feel like the intelligence community is waging a war against the president. Mm -hmm.